Alright my beautiful friends, my aerated compost tea setup. Well, in that bucket there's about 17 litres of water. There's about, four, about six scoops of my compost and there's a couple of scoops of my worm casts in there. There's about four tablespoons of uh, soft dark brown sugar to feed the bacteria and there's a little bit of about half a teaspoon of vitamin C powder which I understand will do a really good job of it and the setup is um, basically fish tank bubblers which come in from this line and it's all powered by that super quiet little pump and that handles 17 litres a minute which is why I chose to put 17 litres in the bucket because that's uh, a really good ratio so there we have it and that's going to provide a super nutrient rich compost tea for my garden and if it's anything like the boost of uh, growth I got after the last sprinkling of that I put on the garden it's going to be pretty epic this time as well I'm going to do this about once a week and n not only is it just feeding the plants I'm, my idea is that I feed the soil and the soil will feed the plants and the plants will feed me and uh, I'll be getting some first class nutrition from that ok go, let's go and have a look at the garden it's a bit windy today so I apologise for any wind noise. These are spare tomato plants I've got and uh, I've got a friend who's coming to collect a couple of them because they're getting a bit pot bound now. Uh, my mini bells are doing well, those six little mini bells and there's a squash I put in that space. That's the only main difference since last time I showed you. My mint and my lemon balm's doing okay. These are my beans, peas, more beans. And I'm moving my ricotto chili to there because it looks like it's, uh, it's it might enjoy it here, I think. It's getting blown a bit by the wind at the moment. But it's a tough little plant. And the other thing I need to show you is the space here because there was a golden zucchini or what we call a courgette, a golden courgette there, which in an act of Mr. Bean level incompetence, I managed to slice off when I thought I was pruning a lower leaf. So I've lost that one and it's a mistake I'll probably never make again because I, I nearly cried, I, t I tell you, I really, I, I don't know, when you start growing stuff, it feels like they're your, your kin. So, uh, these are my cucumbers, starting to pick up. I think it's probably reacting well to the, to the worm bin here. And there's a couple of other little ones growing around it, so they're just fall back in case anything happens to these two in this wind and that's my last surviving golden zucchini which I'm holding up using that stone and string method to try and keep the leaves off the ground I've had a bit of um, powdery mildew which I've been spraying with neem oil and uh, soap these are my runner beans and <laughs> he's going right up to there, so he's about 
bat creeping up towards seven foot, seven foot tall now, that one. This one's up to my chest, and this one's about as tall as me. So that's doing all right. What else have we got? I've ordered the cover for the greenhouse frame, and that's on its way. It should arrive by Saturday. Right, what else? Everything else is in good order. There's fewer things inside the polytunnel now, mostly these sweet peppers. My dismal attempts at growing dill. My these are that's my scotch bonnet, that's a habanero, sorry, that's a jalapeno, that's a scotch bonnet. And these are habaneros, so there's that one is a red habanero and there's a couple of uh, yellow habaneros as well this one don't know what he's doing he's one of the habaneros but he's a is the runt of the litter so that's it a couple of uh, healthy looking tomato plants which i'm going to keep uh, under glass so to speak yeah and it looks like something has found my basil and started munching on it which means it must be very tasty so I think I'll get that uh, potted up or transferred interesting okay thanks for watching